As a United States Senator, Hillary Clinton famously went to Wall Street and told them to knock it off before they crashed the economy. Remember this from the 2016 Democratic primary? I went to Wall Street when I was a United States Senator. I told them that they were wrecking the economy. I asked for a moratorium on foreclosures. I asked that we do more to try to prevent what I worried was going to happen. Candidates posting their L's, because as we know, Wall Street did not knock it off. Capitalists did not stop profit-seeking because a U.S. senator told them to, especially when it's someone like Hillary Clinton, who the banks would later pay huge sums of money to hear a speech. They can't stop. It's what being a capitalist means. And there's a tradition within the Democratic Party of using rhetoric to pretend to rein in the abuses of capital, rather than just using the instruments of the state to actually do anything about it. There are antitrust laws right there, just waiting to be used. But actually doing something about it would materially affect the ruling class to which Democrats and their donors belong. This is also true of Republicans, but they don't even pretend to care about capital exploitation. On Wednesday, President Biden carried on the tradition of telling corporations to knock it off, this time the oil companies. The White House posted this chart on Twitter showing the sharp drop in the price of crude oil that has so far not corresponded with a drop in the price of gasoline. Oil and gas companies shouldn't pad their profits at the expense of hardworking Americans, the White House posted. Yes, they shouldn't. But they are capitalists, and it is kind of what they do. The question is, what are you going to do about it other than post? I have my ideas ranging from nationalizing to price controls to at least windfall taxes. So far, nothing like that coming from the White House. Look, Joe, if you're not going to actually do anything about it, at least tag the oil companies on Twitter in your next post. Take it from me, a guy who has yelled at brands on Twitter. You won't get a response if you don't at them. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.